In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can download videos from Facebook right to your gallery on the iPhone. It's not that difficult at all. It just only requires you to follow a couple of steps. So well, let's just get started with this right now. At first, I want you to download an app which is called Documents. The link can, of course, be found down below under the video in the description. It looks like this. It's a white icon with a D on top of that. And once you open it up, it's pretty much just a files browser. And there's not much what you could do right now with it, since you do not have any files in there. But once you open up the app and skip through all of the welcome pages, then in the lower right corner, you have some sort of web browser icon. So you can click on it and you have right now the access to the internet. Okay, so leave the app for now and just come back to regular Facebook app because we are trying to download Facebook videos. That of course means that you just go ahead and open up the Facebook app and locate any video that you would like to download. It really does not matter how long it is or what's in the video as long as you have access to it or it's a public one, I do hope that everybody should be able to get, get one. So you're gonna click on the three little dots and you have some things like uh, save to watch later and stuff like that. But clicking on watch later or save for later, it only saves it within Facebook. So it doesn't allow you to download it to your gallery, which uh, is not what we want. We want to have it in uh, the camera roll. So the thing is that you have to scroll down a bit and click on a share. So once you click on share, you have the thing, the first icon is copy link. So you're gonna copy the link and now you can come back to the previous app we were talking about. By the way, guys, if you're new on this channel, I would like you to subscribe because it does help you, it does help me, it helps you stay updated and I can see which people are interested and you can be the first one to follow and see my videos. So if you want to just go ahead and do that, let's continue with the video. Okay, now just come back to the documents app and like I say, go to the web browser by clicking on the icon in the lower right corner. Then you're going to click and get to this website. It's called getvid.com. And it can also be found in the description down below, but just type it in if you don't really want to bother with it. So just open it up and you're going to get to this page. And this page allows you to paste a link to a specific video on Facebook. It's a Facebook video downloader. So you're going to paste the link to this green area and you're going to click download. You're just going to wait for it and eventually the video is going to be start. It's going to start downloading within the documents app. It will only be downloaded to that application and to that file browser, which is okay. But you pretty much can see that the video is being downloaded. If you get any ads, just close them. It's regular stuff. Just go ahead and click on X. And just like that, you just wait for the actual file to download and be saved on the iPhone. But like I say, only inside of the app. Once you have that, once it is finished, the thing is that you come back from the uh, web browser in the app and just go ahead and browse the documents regularly. So you can see my files and just find the section which is called downloads. There you should be able to see the file that you have just downloaded and it's just the video that you can see right there. Now you're going to click on the three dots which are next to it and you click on move, which means that you're going to move it from one location to the other. So now you can move it and you can click on photos, which is the like regular photos that you have as the icon on the home screen. So you're going to click on that. You hit done or save in the upper right corner. And after a while, the video is going to pop up in the photos on the iPhone and you are pretty much good to go. The website I showed you as the video downloader works well, I guess, but it doesn't always have to. In case something happens to it, just search up the term Facebook video downloader and you should be fine. Uh, it's really up to those creators of the website and anything can happen pretty much. So it can happen that the next day the website simply stops working and there's nothing what we can do about it. Anyways, this is how you can easily download videos and save them on your uh, iPhone in the gallery. 
And with the video, you can do whatever you want. You can just share it by sending it to someone, even though you can just share the link if you wanted to. Whatever the reason is, you now have it in your camera roll and you can do whatever you want with it. But like I say, the condition is that the video has to be public. Like if you do not even have access to that video, then you, you just cannot download it. Of course, it's just common sense, but this is just how it works. This is the manual way of doing it, but there's also a Siri shortcut available, which should get the job done as well. So if you have Siri shortcuts app, you can go ahead and add it to your own iPhone. So the link to that shortcut can again be found down below in the description. But the way it works pretty much is that you install the shortcut and then the the share option is going to be save a Facebook video. So you just get to your desired Facebook video with the shortcut already installed. You're going to click on a share, then more options and the, then you select Facebook video downloader, the shortcut that we have just added. And the video is going to be saved to the Photos app and it's going to be loaded into your notification. So I think that it could work well, but I don't know, it's kind of more complicated. I mean, once you get it, once you set it up, then it's just one click, but it may not always work. And based on my experience, it's kind of sketchy because it works one time and then it does not work. The first method that I've shown you should work most of the time it's more reliable way but if you want to I'm gonna throw in the shortcut and the link to that shortcut from the people that created it in the description as well so you just can go ahead and download it if you want to but just make sure to add untrusted shortcuts like you go through the process if this is the first shortcut that you are downloading from a third-party source then make sure that you have the access allowed and that is actually going to work okay Anyways, this would be the end of the video. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, I want you to leave a thumbs up because it does help me and it just shows me that you like the video and it just keeps me going. So make sure to do that if you want to and see you guys later in the next video. See you guys.